All right, welcome to part three of uh, the tutorial series how to make a character. Um, in this part, we are going to show you um, <clears throat> how to add light and shadow to the character. Um, in the second part, we had um, drawn uh, the body and in the first part, we had drawn the head. So now we are going to put light and shadow on it. And then in the next part, we are going to add bones to it. So um, there are several ways um, to add light and shadow on it. Um, one is by just double clicking on the character layer and go to shadows and you can click on shading right here um, or shadow or whatever um, but I don't like really like to use this way because um, uh, you don't really have that much control on how you want the shadows it's very difficult um, but um, I can make a separate tutorial about this tab later on the other uh, one is with effects. Uh, you can here click on shade it. If you just um, would select his, let's say his right arm, and you go to shade it. You can add a shadow right here and you have a bit more control as well. And you can change the blur and the offset and so on. Um, I don't prefer this option um, either way because um, it's very difficult to get it right the right way you want it you want so um, but again I can make separate tutorials about that later on um, just deselect this to normal um, how I like to do it is um, just by drawing it myself so first we start with the head and we go into the group layer the head and we make a new layer a separate layer for the uh, shading and oh just and light oh shading and light there we go um, on that we are going to draw the shadows and the light um, now first we have to decide uh, wh where's the light source uh, coming from so let's say the light source is coming from right here so right here we need to have light and at the back side we need to have shadows um, so what we do um, first uh, we start with the shading so we pick a color and of course that will be black and then we go to the fill color right here and we put this thing down below so you can get a transparent color like this um, then we take the add point tool uh, we deselect sharp corners and we also deselect auto stroke because we don't need a stroke with uh, shadows so we're just going to start here and we're just going to draw it like this go there we go so now you can see it looks like this um, so we need to correct a few things right here for instance this one right here we need to make this point sharper with the curvature tool and then it already looks uh, quite good um, now you can change a few things I would like to change uh, some things right I like to make it a bit lighter like this and maybe even uh, make it a bit wider there we go now finally um, this is something that you can do um, but um, if you go select the shading right here and you go to uh, soft edge and you change the blur radius to let's say um, tr 3 um, if you would show preview it gets a blur so um, I will change it uh, again a bit to 1 so you can see it a bit better so it has a blur radius but it's still visible um, so that's how you do the sh shading. Um, so um, 
uh, before I go on, I can also tell you that you can use masking uh, with this. Uh, you can mask the head layer and then um, you can add any everything into the mask and so, it, so the shading will go easier. Um, so if you don't know what masking is, uh, I will put links on uh, uh, in the description and um, if you can, if you watch those, you can understand, you probably understand how you can apply shading with masking as well. Um, I don't do it right now because um, because I'm also going to do it on um, the character layer and if you put a masked group layer inside a masked bone layer, things get a bit weird. Um, but anyway, um, you can try it for yourself and see how it looks for you, but I won't do it right now. Um, <clears throat> so now we are going to start with lighting and for that we are just going to do it here. And basically we're doing the same thing, um, only we choose a different color, white, and I will make it a little bit less transparent because in my experience that always looks better when it comes to light. So we take that point to again, we're going to do the same thing again. So we need to correct a few things right here. Again, make this one sharper. Like this and um, yeah, um, I'm going to correct the points uh, right here because uh, I want to make the stroke um, fully black. So yeah. So now it looks like this. Um, and I think um, this is okay, yeah. So um, now we have done the head, um, now we can also do the rest of the body. Um, but I think uh, you understand now how it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to skip all that of how I do it. And then I'm going to show you how it looks like. Okay, so I just finished uh, drawing all the light and shading on the character. As you can see, I've drawn it on the arm, on the body, on every part of it and as you can see right here I've made different layers for it right here I have put some shadow on the neck and on the arm and on the body um, so that's how you do it uh, or that's how I will I like to do it so if you watch preview you see it looks like this and basically it adds a bit more depth to the character if you if uh, he has light and shadows on his uh, body. Um, of course it depends on your style but um, I recommend you to do it. So yeah, um, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, if you have any more questions uh, leave them comment below. Next week we are going to cover bone rigging and so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video please subscribe for more, I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday, I also make my own animations, I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.